Many of the innovations that we've looked at are designed to increase the owner's confidence in the car by making it smoother and by making it safer. Many protect the driver and passengers from extreme circumstances such as braking during a fast bend or from carelessness like switching off the engine while the turbo is red hot. One innovation already well known on the Audi Quattro is permanent four-wheel drive which also helps the driver negotiate the most difficult conditions. However, to get the best from the system, the driver should be fully informed about how to use the differential locks in order to protect the vehicle from the driver. This is especially important since in the 1985 model year, all the Audis will be available with four-wheel drive option. Chris Goffey has been trying out the system. With the increasing availability of four-wheel drive vehicles, it's vital that you're fully informed about the operation of the controls and the use of both the center and rear differential locks. Now, first of all, the control itself has been changed from a push-pull to a rotary operation. The new control valve is marked with the symbols one and two. When the mark on the rotating portion is vertical, the diff locks are off. Position one engages the center lock only, and position two engages both center and rear locks together. The rotary control operates as a pre-selector. The diff locks are actually engaged after a short delay. The warning lamps only come on or go off when the locking mechanism actually engages or disengages. The upper warning lamp is for the center differential and the lower one for the rear differential. After disengaging the center differential lock, the warning lamp might take a short time to go off. This would occur if the vehicle were cornering while the lock was being disengaged with the individual wheels rotating at different speeds, creating what's known as wind-up. In this condition, it takes a few moments to release the tension on the differentials before the lock can release and the lamp go out. Now, if the lamp was to stay on for a long time after you put the control switch off, it would mean that the differential lock was unable to throw out. Now, this would normally be due to the tyres having a different circumference, probably due to misuse of the diff lock early on, or else a single new tyre being fitted. The differential locks must not be engaged when driving on dry roads, particularly in town conditions with tight radius corners. They are of no benefit in these conditions and will cause not only increased tyre wear, but also higher fuel consumption, both due to the forced tyre scrub. Now this tyre scrub can also result in the tyre rotating around the wheel rim and may also result in serious damage to the transmission. When driving on wet slippery roads, the centre differential lock may only be engaged at low speeds. The rear lock must not be engaged under these conditions. With wet and slippery conditions under braking with the centre lock engaged, it is possible to lock up all four wheels at once, which uh, severely affects the lateral stability and may even cause the vehicle to spin. This does apply to ABS since the ABS is switched off when the centre diff lock is engaged and for the same reason you shouldn't engage the centre differential when travelling at very high speeds. When driving on snow, gravel or sand, the rear differential lock should only be engaged when moving off from standstill in order to get moving. It can also be used if there's the possibility of the vehicle becoming stuck at very low speeds. As soon as the vehicle is moving or when a slow speed hazard has been negotiated, the rear lock should be disengaged. In most cases, it's sufficient only to engage the centre differential lock. Now, on ice, the differential locks are of no help at all, since acceleration and braking ability are governed only by the adhesion of the tyres. Thanks to the permanent four-wheel drive system, these vehicles' high power output is transferred efficiently to the road, even on relatively slippery road conditions. How many times have you jumped out of your car in the office car park on a, a wet and wintry morning and shot into the office, left the lights on? It's the commonest cause of flat batteries and Audi from 1985 model year onwards are hoping to do something about it. They fitted a buzzer which is automatically, if you've left the lights and the radio on, you take the key out and you open the driver's door. That of course prompts you to switch the offending items off. 
pretty good idea. I'm not a buzzer enthusiast, but at least it's going to save those embarrassing situations when everybody else is gone and you're left in the office car park. <laughs>